गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस इंटरकॉस्टल नर्व ब्लॉक दैट इज अल्ट्रासाउंड गाइडेड इंटरकॉस्टल नर्व ब्लॉक इट्स एनाटॉमी एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस इंडिकेशंस कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेशंस एंड टेक्निक इंटरकॉस्टल नर्व नाउ वी विल सी एनाटॉमी इंटरकॉस्टल नर्व मेड अप ऑफ 12 पेयर्स ऑफ स्पाइनल थोरेसिक नर्व्स दीज आर फ्रॉम टी1 टू टी12 थोरेसिक स्पाइनल नर्व्स passes through the intervertebral foramina where they are divided into ventral and dorsal rami now this ventral rami of t1 to t11 form intercostal nerve that enter into the intercostal spaces ventral ramus of t12 forms the subcostal nerve that is located inferior to the corresponding 12th rib now about dorsal rami dorsal rami of t1 to t12 travel posteriorly and it innervates to skin muscles and bones of the back each intercostal nerve is associated with artery vein of the corresponding level aorta derives intercostal arteries then intercostal nerve causes courses inferior to both vein and artery intercostal nerve is composed of dorsal horn which contain sensory fibers and ventral horn motor fibers and postganglionic sympathetic nerves intercostal nerve divides in anterior branch and lateral cutaneous branch that innervates skin intercostal muscles of the each individual segment there is variable collateral innervation of adjacent segment so it is necessary to block both level above and below below the desired level when performing intercostal nerve block now we will see indications of intercostal nerve block these are fracture rib dislocation of costochondral joint acute herpes zoster post herpetic neuralgia post operative pain due to thoracotomy sternotomy upper abdominal surgery post thoracotomy pain neuropathic pain of intercostal neuralgia and for diagnostic block these are the indications what are the contraindications contraindications are patient's refusal active infection over site of infection systemic infection allergy to local anesthetic patients on anticoagulants prior nerve injury coagulopathy and patient having neuromuscular disease what are the advantages it intercostal nerve block decreases oral opioid requirement it improves respiratory functions it improves fev1 and peak expiratory flow rate in thoracic surgery what are the complications complications of intercostal nerve block are hematoma bleeding on the path of needle infection local anesthesia systemic toxicity pneumothorax and nerve damage now we will see ultrasound guided scanning what is patient position patient position it can be given in prone position in lateral decubitus and sitting position also probe selection probe linear high frequency because it is superficial block spine of scapula correspond to t4 level the inferior angle of scapula corresponds to t7 the ultrasound probe is placed in longitudinal axis at angle of the rib it views two ribs in cross sectional view now we should identify external intercostal nerve internal intercostal nerve and innermost intercostal nerve needle selection needle is 22 gauge 1.5 inch ecogenic needles are preferred and 5 ml syringe is taken the drugs we can use local 
एनेस्थेटिक लिग्नोकेन वन टू टू परसेंट और रोपियाकेन पॉइंट टू टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट स्टीरोइड ट्राइमसिनोलोन कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज फॉर द डायग्नोस्टिक ब्लॉक्स एप्रोच इट इज इन प्लेन एप्रोच पंक्चर ऑन द सुपेरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ द रिब इन्फेरियर द इंटरकॉस्टल नर्व ऑफ इंटरेस्ट लोकल एनेस्थेशिया इज गिवन फॉर स्की स्किन एनेस्थेशिया नीडल इंसर्शन इज एट थर्टी फाइव टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंगल नीडल इज डायरेक्टेड टू इन्फेरियर बॉर्डर ऑफ द रिप नाउ विजुअलाइज इंटरकॉस्टल मसल्स एंड प्लूरा इंटरकॉस्टल नर इज नॉट विजुअलाइज लुक फॉर स्प्रेड बिनीथ द फेस ऑफ द इंटरकॉस्टल मसल सेम टेक्निक फॉर नर क्रायो एब्लेशन कैन बी यूज थैंक यू